I'm not even going to dwell on this too much. I'm just going to leave this here and you guys break this down, slice this up however way you want to. Now, there's rumours that Wilder did ask for a certain amount of step-aside money, an extortionate amount, you might say. But but is that true? Did he ever actually make that clear? No. That whole team cannot get their story straight for nothing. They all contradicted themselves all over the place. But, you know, as it goes, if you saw that um, Frank Warren interview, he's still trying as hard at every, each and every turn, trying to shift the blame onto Eddie Hearn. Oh, why was Eddie all over the place telling people to fight on? The guy's ridiculous. In the same interview, in the same breath, he's telling us he felt 100% the fight was going to take place. And he was the one, he was also one of the people telling us the fight's going to take place. He Does he think we don't... Does he think we were all asleep? We didn't see, we didn't watch your interviews, we didn't watch Bob Barham's interviews, we didn't see Tyson Fury's statements all, all across social media, we didn't see his videos he put out. The biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Get up there, my boy! Several videos. This wasn't just an Eddie Hearn campaign. Hey there, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. Got some massive news for you all, guys. I've just got off the phone from Prince Khalid of Saudi Arabia. Um, he told me this fight's a 100% hot. Uh, August 14th, 2021, summertime. You all told us the fight was on at different stages. So you can't try shy away and pass the buck to Eddie saying, oh, it didn't help with Eddie Hearn making announcements every other day saying the fight's on, the fight's going to take place. Like, no, you told us you were frontlining it as well. You were one of the people telling, well, you weren't doing any work, but you were telling us you didn't think the arbitration was going to affect the undisputed fight. So of course, we're going to believe you. He even admits it. He doesn't deny it. He admits that same fact in this IFL interview. He says it was based upon what he heard from top ranks lawyers, but Frank, Growing, you're, you're in our eyes, in the fans' eyes, you're on the inside. You're supposed to be, you know, well, that's that's it's debatable if Frank still promotes Tyson Fury, but you know, Frank's supposed to be on the inside. If he's telling us, us including Eddie, that the uh, arbitration is not going to matter, we've seen his interviews, we've seen his, his statements over the past months. He said he, he feels it's not going to affect the fight, so. Yeah, of course Eddie cracked on with work and he put the fight together and he was telling people what he's heard from you guys. So <laughs> the, the info he was passing on to us was info he got from you guys. You, Bob Arum, Top Rank and Cole, Team Fury. So how are you going to blame him for bad info he got from you? That's ridiculous, Frank. To sum up, Eddie and Team AJ should have known better than to trust their word. Um, Team Fury's word. That's basically what Frank Warren is saying. So Fury says Wilder wanted 20 mil, his promoter. Frank Warren says Wilder did not want 20 mil. <laughs> Who are we supposed to believe? Did Wilder want 20 mil or did he not want 20 mil? It just, just from that alone, that tells you that's just. Yeah. What's the reason for the discrepancy? Well, where did that come from? We all agree at least. <laughs> something was made up in regards to that 20 mil right so if they can go as far as making that up can we not just believe the whole thing's made up well i'm talking like you guys don't know. you guys already know it's made up anyways so anyways move it up move it up eddie's back at it again eddie's back blocking fights again eddie blocked the philip hergovich michael hunter fight by by bidding for the fight, by being the only promoter to bid for the fight, Michael Hunter did an interview on IFL TV talking about um, he doesn't believe Eddie Hearn wanted a fight because <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what the guy was talking about. He just basically said he feels Eddie didn't want the fight, but Eddie was the only promoter to bid for the fight. Michael Hunter was talking about he had people willing to bid. They never showed up. He had Triller. Well, he was alluding to some mystery um, entity he has that's going to show up during the purse bid or show up to to just pick the fight up. They never showed up. The purse bid came through. They never showed up. Matram wins the purse bid and Hunter ends up pulling out of the fight. I've kind of skipped several steps there. Just keep in mind, Michael Hunter and his team they've been messing about the whole situation for a while this was the second purse bid that was called during this whole process so when matron won the bid hunter just eventually pulled out of the whole situation 
baffling. But he popped up, popped out of the woodwork with Triller saying he signed a two fight deal with Triller and he's going to fight Mike Wilson. Yeah, so he goes, he reckons Matchroom and Eddie didn't want the fight because while he was signed with Matchroom, he fought on several cards, several cards with Hergovic. So that means Matchroom did not want the fight this time because he fought on the same card as Hergovic before. <laughs> That's his reason. <laughs> so he's fought the same card as the guy before. Nah, nah, they surely don't want the fight. Now, and we had asked him about Hergovic. You know, they couldn't find him fights and they couldn't find me fights. And but we fought on the same cards. If you look at my opponents and we look at Hergovic's opponents when we fought on those cards, we could tell that there were uh, you know light years at different uh, competition. So uh, if they really wanted to make the fight happen, they could have um, you know they could have did so. Come on, Michael, this is embarrassing. You know this is embarrassing. Come on, man. Making no sense. Hunter, he didn't have any fans to begin with. The fans he managed to, to you know, scrape around, scrape together, they were mainly UK fans. <laughs> so from this movie's pulled, whew, it's nasty for him out there. You just, for example, look at look at the IFL TV. Um, look at the the, the the dislike ratio. It's horrible. It's it's not a good look. This move is made. It's not a good look. It's it's, it's filled. It's made his bank account pretty, but it's really hurt his reputation. Given interviews like this isn't helping. I reckon at this present time, what's best for him is to just just keep quiet. Just shut up and go in the corner and be quiet. Really. <laughs> Stop t or, or don't give interviews about this fight. Just don't talk about the Hergovich fight, really, because we, you've docked him. We've seen it clear as day. It's pitiful. At one point in this interview, he goes, oh, um, Matchroom talked Triller out of bidding during the initial purse bid. They talked him out of bidding for the fight the first time. So are you trying to say it's Matchroom's fault? Did Matchroom talk, talk him out of bidding during the second purse bid? Why did they not bid for the fight during that, that purse bid? Why was Matchroom the only, why were they the only bidders? That doesn't make any sense. Why did they not bid? This all, just like the whole, the Fury, um, undisputed situation, this thing too, this Hunter situation, there's something not right with this situation. I don't know what Hunter is up to, but something is not right. Besides the money, something's not right. Triller could have easily bid something, something chunky, something nice, and put this fight on their platform. Why, why don't they want this fight? The winning bid, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the winning bid was about 600 grand from Eddie Hearn in Matchroom. So you're telling me Trudeau couldn't put that out? How much did they bid for the, for the Lopez Cambosos Jr. fight? Was that about 6 million? Come on. Anyways, regarding that interview, it's, it's a really, it's a pretty bad interview. The, the who was it? An Andrew McCart? He, he didn't even ask him that many probing questions, but... Hunter was just tying himself in nuts the whole time. He didn't make any sense whatsoever. He was just trying so hard to push the Eddie buzzword button, but that button is not really as effective these days. You know, you guys are gonna have to look for another scapegoat. That Eddie, that Eddie thing, yeah, it's kind of ran its course. It's not really, it's not, it's not hitting as it used to. You duck the fire. We're not done. Like he feels as soon as he says Eddie Hearn, oh, gonna, oh yeah, yeah, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn's involved. So Hunter probably didn't duck. Hearn's doing Hearn stuff again. So yeah, yeah shut up, give it a rest. So yeah, um, leave your thoughts down in the comment section as usual. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, what, what else do I need from you? <laughs> as usual, give me that like, give me that like. Yeah, um, notification bell, have that on so you know exactly what's going on up here and Twitter, question marks UK, I'm out.